So you can able to see the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, now is the voice clarity? Is that okay? Yes. Good. Yes. So the first one is Git, right? Git. We are telling why we need Git first of all. What is the advantage? What we are going to achieve it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the purpose of GitHub is right. So far, what we are doing, we are writing the code and sample programs, and how we are exchanging? We are exchanging yeah. through mails, correct? Uh huh. So we can able to avoid that turn. So we can able to create some centralized repositories. So that will be available in online. So people can able to, if at all they want to push some changes, they can able to push. If they want to take the changes from the centralized repository from anywhere in this world, they can able to take it up. Instead of sending the email, we can able to keep our source code in one place and we can able to get the code now uh, push the code at any point of time so that is the main advantage of git the same like uh, your email so your email you can able to access from anywhere in the world right yes gmail in the similar way you your code we can able to keep in one place in one centralized repository and uh, from that we can uh, people can able to <coughs> take the code uh, into their local desktop in the similar way if at all they want to push some changes they can able to push it mm -hmm. the main purpose of git is it's kind of source code management but you can we can able to create your yes, source code management it, it is available over the internet you can able to access from anywhere in this world mm -hmm. so that is the advantage of I mean uh, <coughs> git Okay, now, so how to set up that one? So to set up or to download that one, we need to use this URL. So git scmcom download.win. First, you need to download a software. So we need to download the software from this URL. So what you will do, you just copy the URL. The URL I can give to you. Yes. From this URL, we can able to download that software. So I, what I will do, I will show you that uh, download part where it is there. See now, if you click the link, it will start already. The it, it will start the downloading part. So this is for Windows. Did you see this one? It's 35.8 MB. Mm -hmm. It will download it. And the installation is straightforward. There is nothing different. Just uh, click, click. There is only straightforward. Mm -hmm. So just we need to install it. And uh, you, you, yes, click on downloads. Say for instance, if you have some different uh, operating systems like Windows, Mac, so you can click mm -hmm. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. this is the base URL. Uh -huh. So you can download Mac or Windows or Solaris or Linux as per your operating system. Mm -hmm. You download it and the installation is same steps. There is no difference. Just one, one. it's a next, next and you can install it. So that is the first step. So we need to download the software and we need to keep with you and we need to install it. Once the installation mm -hmm. is done, Mm -hmm. Next, what we have to do? So for to use a Git, right? So we need an account, a Git account. I told, right? It is available in online. The similar way to use your email, what you have to do? We need some email. Is it right? like a Dropbox type? 
thing yeah we will i will show that one okay and okay. Uh, first one is we need to install the software so okay, okay. the software url i had already given right the second step is we need to you need to create a git account with yourself and this is a free so this is okay. a free and uh, for free account you can able to use some of the features if you pay some amount right you will get some additional features oh i see so it's a free version and it's a like a paid version also is there so for practice purpose you can use free uh, free version that is much more enough the difference mm -hmm. between uh, free version and paid version is right say for instance you created some git account and you pushed some files mm -hmm. so if it is a free account your files can be uh, seen by everyone in the world okay anybody can able to see your files if at all if you think like if you don't want to show your files to others then you have to buy the license that is the only oh. difference for pre version people can able to see your files for paid version uh, pe other people not able to see your code so this is just for practice purpose we are uploading the files so we no need to bother about like there is no confidential information we are not uploading any company information right so this is fine just okay. you can create a uh, git account so how to create a git account and what is the url so this is the url mm -hmm. github.com join mm -hmm. so what i will do Yes, so this is the URL github.com slash join. So this is the URL basically github.com slash join. Okay. So open this URL and you can sign in. So I mean you can create yourself some account to last first name, last name and email ID. So I will show you that sign in page. So this is the sign in page. Uh -huh. A quick question. Yes. We have to open an account. An account I believe it comes with a username and password. So yes, if yes, we use right. username and password. So why everyone will see my codes or my you know whatever I am doing. Yeah, I will I will show you that one. The first one is you need to create an account. So this is the login uh, page. So here, did you see this is sign in or sign up? Sign in. Yes. So for this, first we don't have an account, correct? We need to create an account. Mm -hmm. So for that, just click on sign up and create mm -hmm. some username, how you want, and email, mm -hmm. and password. Mm -hmm. So just provide all this information and you will get your account. Mm -hmm. So okay. some username you can give whatever you want and you are some valid email address and some password uh -huh. then uh -huh. and it, you see the second step is it's a plan means uh, whether you want to okay let me show you something and i have some manohar dot cf dot android I'll create CF hundred. So this is my username, and the email I'm going to give manohar dot cf dot hundred at the rate of gmail dot com. So this is my email. And the password yes. I'm giving something. Okay. Now continue. So first step is done. The second step is. See here, it is like uh, some amount calculation, mm -hmm. unlimited public repositories for free. So if at all you want to private, I told you, right, uh, free means mm -hmm. like it's unlimited public repositories, meaning others can able to see by code. Mm -hmm. But if you think I don't want to show my code to others, then you take unlimited private, but you need to pay $7 per month. And then it will ask immediately how you want to pay the amount. 
credit or PayPal account, whatever. So this is for practice purpose. I'm going to enroll as a free account. Okay. It's clear, right? This two why we am selecting this radio buttons. Then yes. click on continue. So the organization name you can give organization name CF So I'm giving some name. So it is saying it's already taken. Okay, this is my organizer name and billing email also we need to give. Email over dot cf dot hundred at the rate of gmail.com so some email id so it will ask some more details actually free plan okay so you can ignore all those things and this is a free account and uh -huh. uh, yes this create organization and then search for user information and finish it so now done so you your account creation is done and you logged in successfully correct okay. after that the first step now your account is ready and you have entered your username and your password all those things correct now the second step is you go to your ppt so account creation is done and did you see that one account create and repository or branch creation mm -hmm. so now you now you have an account Mm -hmm. What you have to you have to create a new repository. Did you see this? Sir? The organization has no repositories, zero repositories. Mm -hmm. So to create a repository, did you see this one? Create new repository. Click this one. Mm -hmm. So before that, it is asking, please verify your email address. Yes. So because we don't know whether it's a valid email address or invalid email address, so we need to verify the link. So what I will do, I'm going to log in into Gmail account and I need to switch to different uh, email. This is my email and okay now I logged in we need to activate this account whatever just now we have created so this is the one so GitHub. so it came here and yes please verify your email address verify email address mm -hmm. Click this one. Now it will activate your account. Start a project. Yes. Now we can able to create the repository. Did you see this one? The second step is we need to create a new repository. Meaning uh, <clears throat> you have an account. So inside that account, say for instance, how many projects you want to save. We need to create some. We need to segregate some pro like repositories correct we cannot save all the project in one place instead of saving everything in one place you decide like this is my first project and this is my second project third project like that correct so i'm okay. going to create a repository called sample project so this is my repository name so it is thinking so this is the first time we are creating so repository is available say for instance if you are creating second time and the same repository again so it will not take correct repository name must be unique as uh, in your account it's clear right yes and this is a free public means okay. free so anyone can see this repository okay. anyone can see this repository but you can able to 
control it. Say for instance, you created an account, I can able see your files, but I am not able to modify it. But the, if you give permissions to me, then only I can able to modify it. Otherwise, I am not able to modify, but I can able to see your files. So that is up to the way how you are creating that. So then create repository. So finally, our repository creation is done. So if you see this one, right, so there is a top. Do you see this one? There is a URL. So you need to copy this URL. Or else it will come at any point of time. So now this is your user ID, correct? It's course founder Manohar CF100. This is my user ID, correct? For this uh, Git repository. So if you want to see how many repositories are available, so over you currently we have created one repository, correct? So this is the oh, sample okay. repository, sample project. This is our repository. You just click this one, and you will get this uh, details. So what you will do? So you just copy this URL. Mm -hmm. Copy this URL. I think the best way is you can click here. So now copy it. So no need to drag here and here. You click this one. Clip to copy. So copy it. So now what we have to do? Go back here. And so what I'm going to do here? I'm going to create some test folder over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go to Eclipse. So now account creation is done and the repository or branch creation is done, correct? Right? So this one we have already completed these steps. So now what is the next step? Yes. Now once your account creation is done and we have created a branch, now what we have to do? So we have to push the files, correct? So how to push the files yes. to where we need to push the files. So that that is our second step. So now what I want to do. So on the desktop, right? So I'm going to create a simple folder called test. Okay. So this is a test folder I created just now. So here what I want to do. <coughs> so just right click. See here, if you right click here, right, if you install the Git software, whatever I told you initially. So you will see mm -hmm. two, uh, two options over here, Git bash here and Git GUI here. Okay. So I'm going to select Git bash here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, I mean, I already copied that URL, correct? Your repository. Mm -hmm. So this is your repository, correct? So this is your username and this is your repository. Mm -hmm. So you copy that one and uh, so here, so come to open this window and it look like a black window. So this is the first command, mm -hmm. git clone and paste the URL. I don't know why you are tapping. I don't see it. Yeah, you are not able to see anything. I just see some black screen, that's it. Yeah, black screen on the top, see I am typing here. No, I don't see that. Oh, you are not able to see it. So now what you will see? Now I see it, yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now the first, what I, first command what I executed, git clone and I had given my URL, correct? Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of git clone, right? So this is your repository name. In this repository, whatever files is there, we are trying to download into our local. So far, we have created a repository, but there is no files, correct? Empty repository. Mm -hmm. So now, if you come back to your test, and did you see this one? There is a sample folder is available. Yes. So before that, uh, let me delete it.
So what we have to do, the first step is right. So once you open, so from the from this location, let me open the window back again. Git bash here. So the first step is right. We have to initialize the git. Git i n i t git init. So this is the first command. You have to remember and press enter. Mm -hmm. So now it is telling initialize the empty git repository in C somewhere C drive. Okay. After that, what you have to do? Git clone and give the your URL. So this is your URL. Manohar CF hundred mm -hmm. sample project dot git. So I want to download all the projects whatever available under this repository and press mm -hmm. enter. So it is trying to download. Okay. So it is saying it's a warning. You cloned a project, but it is it doesn't have any projects. It's empty repository. Correct? It is clear. Mm -hmm. It is correct, right? So far we mm -hmm. have not created any project over here. So this is our repository name, sample project. So under this repository, I want to create, say for instance, let me take one of the project. Yes. So these are our projects, correct? So far what we created? Yes. Okay, let me take one of the project like, um, so files demo. So you can copy this project, files mm -hmm. demo and go mm -hmm. to your uh, repository name. So this is our repository. So just paste it over here. So now come back here. So now here, right? So what I want to do, so these files demo project, I want to push or, or, or else I want to commit into that location. So for that, what we have to do, what you have to do, git status. If you see git status, right, it will show how many projects are available in your locally and there is a project mm -hmm. called sample project. Mm -hmm. And so far we have not created, I mean we, we have created one simple uh, project called like a files demo. So this project we want to commit into, so this project we want to commit into our repository, correct, files demo. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for that purpose, what we have to do? So what is next commands? So here basically, we need to remember the commands. So what are the commands are available? And how we are going to commit it? <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So now, so this is the project we want to commit it. So you just right click and uh, go to... So you just right click on the project right click mm -hmm. you get so many options so you see yeah. there is option tortoise git okay. and you also you'll see there is a button called plus add okay. so either you use this uh, ui or else you what you will do the best way is cd space how many projects are available so Currently, we have a project sample repository, cd sample repository under inside, under inside this, so git status. Yes, so under, currently we are under sample project. So under sample mm -hmm. project, there is a new project is available in your local files demo. It is not at, it is not at committed into your branch, correct? So this is a, some sample mm -hmm. project I copied, correct? So to push the files into your git repository, what we have to do? The first one is git add. And which project you want to? Project name. Git add and project name. And press enter. So now did you see this one? The color is changed. Now it is in red color. Meaning you, it is ready to commit. So meaning first the steps are here, right? First one is git add the project name. Which project you want to commit? So now mm -hmm. what I did? Yes, git status. It is saying git added. Yes. So this is the first command. Git add and the project name. So this project I want to commit it. So git add. It is ready to commit. Now if you see git status. Did you see this one? These many files are ready to commit. Mm 
So under files demo, there is so many projects, SRC, test, blah, 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 all those things. So now how to commit it? So there is a command called git. So all these commands mm -hmm. I have already mentioned in our PPT. The first one yeah. is git clone. Can you able to see the screen now? Yeah. So mm -hmm. git clone yeah. and branch name. So br branch name is, you know how to copy it, correct? Once you log in mm -hmm. and create a branch and then copy the repository name. Correct? Mm -hmm. So once that is done, then what you have to do, git add and the project name. Which project you want to commit? Mm -hmm. So now we have already pro added the project, this project we want to commit it. So while committing the project, C-O-M-M-I-T-I-F-N-M, we have to give some comment, right? Why you are committing this one? So this is a files demo mm -hmm. files demo for git test correct so this is a git uh, commit iphone m and some comment mm -hmm. correct and press enter mm -hmm. so this files already committed now mm -hmm. okay it's committed but if you go to your repository right and just refresh mm -hmm. this one so you are not able to see it did you see this one projects zero everything zero, zero. nothing so far it's not there but we have already did commit but we are not able to see it so what we have to do it right now there is another command this is the last command we are going to execute it. so right now we executed git commit correct git commit mm -hmm. m and some comment now the second step is we need to execute this last command git push origin and branch mm -hmm. name so your branch name here it is if you go back to your repository so the default branch name over here it is a master okay the default branch name is here it's a master okay first let me see here did you see this one git push or update origin master so this is your branch name master by default it will give the um, branch name is a master so copy this command so if the steps initially it will give clearly <coughs> we already did git init right the first command is git init and git add after that git commit after that git push and uh, the next command is git remote add origin and this is your repository name correct so this is your repository right so all these commands it will give clearly can you able to see these commands uh, no I think we had some technical issues uh, I didn't hear what you were saying no you can able to see the screen now yes yes oh, so this one is just whatever you logged in right so whatever repository you created if you create, if you click on the code tab, it will display all the commands, the basic commands. Okay. So these are the basic commands. Git init first we did, after that git add project name, after that git commit some uh, some comment we had given. So the next one is mm -hmm. git remote, add origin and your repository name. So this is next command, copy the command and you will get all these commands over here and paste it here and press enter yes mm -hmm. it's saying it's already pointing so it's no need to point it so now mm -hmm. the last one is git push or update origin master copy the command last command and come mm -hmm. back here and paste it here press enter mm -hmm. so now with your last credential so any so who created this account so I created this account. So my email, either you have to give email ID or username. So what is the username here? Mano, Manohar CF100, correct? Manohar mm -hmm. CF100. So this is my username, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct, did you see this one? So I entered same thing and press enter. Then it will ask password. So mm -hmm. let me give the password. So now I had given my username and password. 
the details are committed. Did you see this one? 100% success. So now come back here and just refresh this location. Can you able to see your project? Yep. So you now you can able to access this project from your location also. What I'll do, I'll just I'll ping this uh, URL to you. Where is mm -hmm. this window? See, can you click the link from your machine? So now we can able to see. Yes. You can able to see this project, right? If we explore this one, and you will see, you can able to see all the files. See, the SRC test com dot. This is our files uh, class actually. Did you see this one? You can able to see all the source code, right? Mm, okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> when I was committing that time, I had given some comment, right? Did you know? Did you notice mm -hmm. that one? So if mm -hmm. if you so did you see this comment? So this is a files demo for Git test. So this is my comment. Okay. So this is your project, and this is your comment, and when it was committed. Mm -hmm. So so to copy the files into your local machine if you click here right so there is a url so the same url uh, like previously whatever i copied over here so this is the mm -hmm. file url so this url i'll give to you every time so you need to execute git clone and this 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 url then it will download all the projects into your machine mm -hmm. okay now you we have already committed right now our files demo is there in internet correct now what okay. I did, so let me open this files demo and let me open src, blah, 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 blah. So buffer and this file also is there in our internet. So now what I'm doing mm -hmm. here, I'm modifying these files. So I'm adding one comment, test comment. So I modified this file, right? So save it, so then come back over here. <coughs> then you will see there is a red mark, meaning, so this file is modified. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know how many files got modified, so come back here, git status. Then it will say clearly, so this file is modified, buffer file system. Correct? Did you see this one? Mm, I see. Buffer file. Where did you type buffer file? It's displaying here. Oh, okay. Now I see. So why? Because I modified this file. So it is not in sync with your repository. Why? Because okay. just now I added one comment. So if at all if you want to see the difference, so git diff and we need to give the full path. So what is the difference? So what is the difference between that online repository and in your local? See, it is giving clearly the difference is test comment, correct? So this line I have included. What line? Can you see it? Test comments? Yes. So this is the line I, I have included. Uh -huh. This file already committed. So this just by adding, I modified this file by adding this comment. Correct? Well, because keep on we are working on the same file. So we need to push this change. So now if you go to the online, right? So we can get we can back here. The source com test. And this is buffer, right? Yes, buffer. Buffer and buffer file system. And uh, did you see this one? Did you see any comment here? No. But I have already modified this file. Looks like this. See, before br dot close, there is no any line over here. But I have added some comments. So this particular change is not there in online. Mm -hmm. 
correct? So we need to push this change, correct? So whatever you're modifying, we need to push the change to online back again. So how to push this change? So this is the difference, this test comment. So this line is not there in online. So to push the change again, what we have to do? Same process, git add. And do the file, which file you modified, which file you want to push it. So this is the file I modified and git add and file file path press enter git add after that what you have to do git commit so, so in real life these things must be uh, done by the tester or some developer developer can... developer okay so so you are the one writing the files right so every time you write the files and you do git add and git commit and finally what you have to do git push your origin master so now it will ask okay. username and password manohar cf 100 so this is my username if you see this one so what is this yes so here you can even see your username so what is your username so this is a your username manohar cf uh -huh. 100 correct so it is asking username i entered now it is asking password i'm providing some password mm -hmm. so now i have pushed my changes see here mm -hmm. now br dot close there is no any line correct so now just now i have committed just refresh this file and now you can able to see the comment did you see this one mm -hmm. So now the changes came into the online, right? Mm -hmm. Can you, you can you, you can able to see this the changes also. So what you will do? Just I'll give the URL. <coughs> you can able to access the file. Can you click the file? Let me see. You can able to see the right? Yes, I can see the same okay. screen you have. Yes, yes. So this is called as online repository and you can able to access from anywhere in the world. And if you want to see oh. the comments, who committed, what committed. So come back over oh. here and uh, files demo. Yes. And uh, go to this test and buffer so this file is committed just two minutes before correct yeah, yeah. so when it was committed and this is the comment so if you click the comment it will display what change I did and why I committed so this is the change I have committed correct so it will display clearly when it was committed who committed so this is the way we can able to maintain the code. Okay. It's clear, right? Git repository. So now what I will do, I will create a repository and I will push all the projects, whatever so far we discussed. And I will give the repository name to you. Oh, okay. Okay. Then you can able to see. So like this, if you come back here and if you come to your sample repository, <coughs> So mm -hmm. far what I did just now, I, I pushed only one project, sample project. Mm -hmm. So under sample project, you will see only one project. Okay. So here you can able to see all your projects. So far how many we created here. So you can able to see everything under one repository. Okay. Okay. So, so far we, we committed two times and in one branch. So branch one shot, right? Yes, yes, one, 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 one location and two commits. And inside that we have one project. So it will give clearly all those information. Okay. So this is called as a git. It is clear, right? Yeah, but whatever you did on the black screen, it's kind of challenging. <laughs> yes, that is not a problem. That commands maybe you need to remember. Okay. So that okay. commands we need to remember. Okay. Git clone, whatever I suggested, right? So that one uh -huh. we have to remember actually. Okay. Okay. So here the okay. commands is very important. This one we have to remember. So whatever I did, git add, git commit, 
and uh, after that what I did git push origin yes yes these three commands are very important git add git commit and git push these three commands so if you see my ppt so git clone the first one and another one is git add i have not included over here so that is also there it's very important mm -hmm. yes so first one is git clone and the mm -hmm. next one is so this is the second command git clone is the first one git add project is the second one git commit is the third one git push origin mm -hmm. branch name Okay, I have a quick question. Yes. Let's say we are saving our source code or whatever we are coding on, on GitHub. Mm -hmm. What if let's say I wanna I wanna save this PowerPoint slides uh, on GitHub? Is it is it possible or is it only for the code? Only? Oh no, no, I am not getting your question. Can you please repeat again? No, I was saying that uh, we we saved our um, codes that mm -hmm. um, we we have done projects uh, mm -hmm. on Eclipse. Okay. What if Let's say this PowerPoint slides we are doing. Let's say as an example, I want to save this on GitHub. Is it possible to save it? Like PowerPoint slides or MS? Anything, or anything, or... anything. Say for instance, now come to Git. And this is your repository name, sample project, correct? Come back here. Okay. Now what I will do here, I'm going to create one simple text file. Okay. Oh, I see. So text some text file I created, correct? Uh -huh. It's a file name is new test dot document and it is having test. So this file I want to push it. So what you uh -huh. have to do? Come here. First verify how many did is there any files not committed? Git status. Then it will display there is a new file is added, but it is not yet committed. So it's nothing to add okay. it. And it's first step, what is the how to commit it? Git add. Git add. And which file you want to commit? One second. New text document. So that there is a problem with Git. Whenever you are creating any file name, the file name should not have any space. So what I am going to do, I am going to rename the file as a test. So this okay. file I want to commit it now. So now again mm -hmm. you would get status. So it is saying, so there is a file called test.txt, we need to commit it. So git add. Test. Test dot. Txt. Correct? It is not a document, it is a text file. Git add okay. is executed. What is the next command? Git? Git commit. Git commit. Yes, git commit and iPhone for test. Test dot txt. So it is mm -hmm. done. After that, git commit is done. Next one is git push origin master. Then it will ask username and password. Manohar CF100. Press enter and it will ask password. Mm -hmm. Press enter. It is done. Done. Now go back to your repository and just refresh. Can you able to see your tab file? Test.txt. So it's having only one line test. So like that you can able to commit anything. The test yes. yes. So this is what I created just now. 38 seconds mm -hmm. ago. So like this you can able to commit anything, any projects or files or documents or video files, anything. Okay, makes sense. You can able to commit anything. Mm -hmm. okay. I have already some other repository I used to share for everyone. Uh, now after this class what I will do, I will <coughs> commit all your projects 
and I'll give the your repo location. So I'll give this location. And you can okay. download into your machine. So before that, what you have to do? So we have to install this GitHub. Mm -hmm. okay. Then you can able to download this project. Okay. It is clear, right? Yes. So you, what you will do? You download that um, Git and uh, install it. And I will. Meanwhile, today I will upload all these projects so far. Whatever I created into online, and I will give the location, mm -hmm. and you can able to download it, and you can able to practice it. Okay, okay, makes sense. And today I think there is no projects to send you. I will send only video, correct? Yeah. yeah. Because we have not created any new project, right? This is only sample project I have committed. Mm -hmm. So just I'll give the video and you can able to, I mean, see the video and download all the software, required software and install it. And also I will mm -hmm. send an email with this repository location and you can able to download your projects okay okay and thank we you. will meet tomorrow and we will see some other thing okay, okay. yeah fine yeah thanks good night yeah okay thanks